Uh, we'll get started. Willie, welcome back to <laughs> Rocket Mortgage Classic. I know you played as a sponsor exemption a few years ago. Yeah. Um, what's it like coming back here, having got a lot of exposure over the last month at the U.S. Open, the last couple of years, and just having a lot more people know your story and, and your background? Yeah, for sure. Um, just playing in the last couple of weeks have, have been pretty good. Uh, playing in the U.S. Open, getting through sectionals, um, winning some tournaments in between. Um, hopefully I can keep that going this week and uh, put myself in contention. I've, I've played here a million times, so uh, hopefully I can use that to my advantage and um, keep playing well. Yeah, and then winning the shipping, just you know, thoughts on, on that this week to get into this event? Yeah, the, the John Shippen, I, I think this is my third year um, playing it and um, all the champions on there. I'm, I'm glad I can put myself uh, on that list. Um, they, they've put a great tournament together and uh, hopefully uh, I can keep that going. I know Chase made the cut last year, so uh, hopefully we can do a, a two-peat. And then just what's it like for you coming back to a place that's close to home? Yeah, this is my first PGA Tour cut that I made, and um, I'm from Flint, Michigan, so just uh, being able to, to see all, my, all the members and, and everybody I know here, it's, um, it's kind of like a home, home team thing, but uh, hopefully, I, like I said, I can just play well and, and get back in uh, on the weekend and, and uh, get into contention. All right, we'll open up for questions. Got one in the, on the right there. You've uh, Saturday and Sunday, um, you played in two different conditions out here on the course. Saturday was pretty calm. Sunday was very windy. And now it, the course is pretty uh, wet, sopping wet after this morning. What kind of advantages do you think that gives you seeing the course in so many different states um, over the four-day four tournament? Yes. Yeah, uh, I, I know Saturday I shot nine under. Um, and then uh, Sunday I shot two over. But... Uh, I, I think the winds were 34, 34 or 40 mile an hour gusts on, sat, on Sunday. So um, just seeing those conditions in, in different aspects of the course, uh, probably, hopefully it'll help me this week. Um, I'm not sure about the wind this week, but um, if it's windy, at least I know what holes uh, not to hit certain clubs on. But um, yeah, just I know it's wet out. It's, it's not a, a firm course this week, but Hopefully, um, I can um, throw in some putts. <laughs> and, and what has it been like um, resetting from Sunday's win um, and then now gearing up for another PGA event? What's that turnaround been like? Yeah, just like I said, coming off that U.S. Open, I, I played well the first round. Didn't really play well the second round, but um, the conditions out there were, were super tough. So um, I played in, I think, three tournaments since since the U.S. Open, I wouldn't say any golf course is easy, but um, after playing that, everything seems a little bit easier now. <laughs> any additional questions? Tony's got one here, front right. Hi, Rachel Hopmeyer, CBS Detroit. Um, if people around here didn't know your story, they obviously do by now. With all of the attention you've gotten recently and the successes you have been stacking in the middle of such a hard working career, what does it mean for you to be having the recent success and opportunities here? Yeah, I've been playing well. It's just when you get these opportunities, I, I got to keep um, plugging along and, and play well and um, not let these opportunities just go to waste. Uh, I'm not getting any younger. So um, when I do get these opportunities, I, I think I need to play a little bit better and and um, put myself in those those good moments. But like I said, I, this year has been um, a little bit better than last year. I have full corn ferry status. I, I didn't play as well as I wanted to, but um, hopefully I can keep that going and, and get back out there next year. I'm assuming you needed more than the regulation four tickets for friends and family to come out this week? Uh, yeah, I asked for a little bit extra. <laughs> Thank you. Go to Tony on the right. Hey, Willie. Tony Paul, Detroit News. Um, good to see you again. Uh, I'm just curious, um, you know, since, that, since you got into the rocket, you made the cut here. Um, that was kind of a breakthrough year for you. Your story, you told your story a lot of different places. I'm just curious, how comfortable were you then telling your story as opposed to now? Are you comfortable with 
this attention and, and your story being out there? Uh, I think in the beginning, um, I think at that time my mom didn't even really know what was going on uh, for a long time. And um, I, I don't know. I, I think back then it was kind of embarrassing to, to play and, and do what I was doing. But now overcoming and, and going through those bad times, I, I feel like it, it made me a better person and um, a better player on the golf course. So um, I always say I'm glad I went through those things, and, and hopefully that can help me out in the future. Uh, there's a 15-year-old kid in the field this week in Miles Russell. I'm just curious how you, how you would have handled that situation if that were you at 15 playing in a PGA Tour event. Uh, who who knows? Um, I know he's he's a good golfer. I, I was talking to Jason, I think uh, yesterday about him um, not even being able to get into the club, uh, the locker room because it says 16 and 16 and over. So we were joking about that, but. Um, yeah, he's been playing well. Um, hopefully, he plays well this week and, and keep keep going. Final questions for Willie? Okay, thank you very much for your time. All right, perfect. Thank you.